To access ebooks through EBSCOhost, go to the library's homepage, select the Articles and Resources tab, and then in the top drop down menu, scroll down to ebook collection or ebook community college collection. Select the one you wish to search and click go to the right. It will authenticate you and provide access. Once you have gained access to EBSCOhost, you may search for your topic. We can look up something about, let's say, poverty and class. And at this point, I can click on the search. Once it pulls up my results, I see I have 95 results. I can go through my results and choose which of the books looks interesting. Uh, let's take a look at item number two. Now I could go directly into the PDF or I could click on the table of contents from this access point. But I'm going to click on the title just to show you that there's more information behind the scenes on this particular entry. It will break information down by description. It'll give subject headings and categories. And then to the left, you'll notice you still have the access to the PDF, which if you click this item here, you and or your students will be able to view the entire book in PDF through EBSCOhost now that you've gained access. The download is helpful if you want to use uh, an Adobe Reader when you're uh, offline or away from EBSCOhost. Typically, those students will just click on the PDF full text to read it. You may also go to the far right and you may click on permalink in order to gain an, a URL that will link to this entry, whereby students can then be instructed to click on the PDF. That will be a permalink to the entire book. If you would like to link just to a particular item within the book, you can, may click on the table of contents. And at this point, you'll see the various chapters are listed. And let's say you just want to have students access a particular chapter within the book. I will pull this up, this particular chapter, and here we are in chapter seven. At this point, if I just want to direct students to a single chapter within a book, I may click on the permalink option at this point, and it will see, you'll see it ends here with page 115. It will direct students just to this particular section of the book. So I would highlight the entire URL, I would copy that URL, and then you can place that within Blackboard or whatever learning management system or email you choose. That is how you embed from EBSCO eBooks.